Hi everyone, welcome to my video. My name is Dennis. The following video is presented to you by Dedicated Office Solution. I'm going to unbox, demo, and do some review for this large format printers. The following model is Epson T5430, size AO with copy printing and scanning function. It is so easy to do the installation for this printer stand. You only require to apply two screws on right hand side and another two screws on left hand side. You will see this arrow in the printer and another arrow on the printer stand. Please make sure both is matching into the position before you place this printer on top of it. And now we're going to lock this printer with the stand by applying four screws at the bottom of this printer. And now we're going to install this basket underneath the printer stand. You are not required to apply any screw at this position. Just push it and click it and hook four angles. This is something good about Epson. They're giving you 110 ml as the starter ink for this printer. Compared to other brands, they're only giving you something lower than 110. Epson is not stingy. They are kind enough. And now we're going to set our date and also the time format. It can be 12 hours format or 24 hours format. Another good point of Epson is their ink tank design. It is horizontal, it's not vertical stand. When the ink tank is in the horizontal position, the percentage of leakage will be reduced. It took about 28 minutes for the ink replenishment. Once the ink replenishment done, you can start loading the paper. I'm using 50 meters. The max size for this plotter is 150 meter. For now, I'm going to talk about the bad point. The bad point for now is they don't have any screen protector for their touchscreen panel. If you try to custom a plastic layer on top, it is not a good idea. It will reduce the sensitivity of the touchscreen. I just finished the setting for the paper length. Once the setting is done, you are ready to go. And now we're going to do the network setup. Before we do the setup, we need to hook up the network cable first. Go to the settings button. Under the network setting, as what you see here is the auto IP. Now I'm going to log into the manual IP. Once the setup is done, your IP configuration is done. First demo, I'm going to do the demo for copy function first before we do the network print demo. Hit the copy button and click on the mono copy button and you can see the scanner is moving now. The scanning speed is quite fast, right? You can continue by another page but for now, I'm only photo stack one page. So I just click OK and you can see the printer is in action now. I start to do the printing for me. Another good thing for Epson scanning function is uh, no third party software is required. What you need to know is the basic network knowledge in order to do the scanning function. For scanning function is a bit complicated. 
you may pause the video and do the screenshot first. I have break it into five steps for you guys. The first one is to install the SMB in Windows 10, add user, create scan folder, turn off firewall, and set the scan destination. So let's jump into the demo. Okay guys, step number one, turn on the SMB under the Windows features. Make sure three of these things is checked and click OK and wait for the installation. And remember to restart the PC once the SMB 1.0 is installed. Okay guys, step number two, add user under Windows. Create the user without Microsoft accounts. You can create whatever username you want. I'm create the user here called Canon. Don't ask me why, because I like Canon. That's why I name the user as Canon. Once the user is created, you are done for step number two. Step number three, create the folder and set the permission. I created the folder called scan in my desktop. Right click, click sharing, click the share button. Sorry for my shaky footage. Share button, share to Canon, add and set the permission for everyone as well. Click on the add button, make sure both is in my list. Yes, turn on the network discovery and click done. But we are not done yet. We have to go to the advanced sharing again. Check this, share this photos, permissions. And we have to give full control to everybody and add another user called Canon. This is the user that we created just now. Check name, and click OK. Assign full control to Canon user and click on the apply button. Click apply and OK. And the final one, security, edit, add Canon and assign the full control to Canon user. Okay, step number three done. We have created the photo and set the permission to this photo. All right, step number four. I'm using the AWAS antivirus here. I have to put it into the silent mode. I have turned off my AWAS antivirus. If you guys have Windows Firewall or Windows Defenders, please turn it off as well because uh, firewall and the antivirus will block the scanning signal. Alright, final step. Please note down your device name or your PC name. My PC name here is desktop blah blah blah. Go to the printer and click the scan button and you will see the network folder through FTP. Click on the contact and you will see the plus sign on the top right. Click on the plus sign and key in person that you are going to add into the address book. So my person here is uh, Ida and I have to put the location. The location is the PC name and followed by slash the share folder name. Username here will be Canon that we created just now and also password. So we are done.
The following scanning method is the push scan. The machine will push the PDF file into the folder that we created earlier. So this is the scanning quality. Let's jump into the final review for today. This is another bad point of Epson T5430 which is not so friendly for Air 4 paper loading. Because this plotter is mainly for row form design. If you are using the cut sheet, this model is not so suitable for you guys. Now we're going to reloading back the A1 row. So the good thing for Epson here is when you reload back the old paper, it can detect the remaining paper length from the barcode that we have just now it is the very advanced features that I first time seen in the large format printer one star for Epson